They were only set to live here a few years. Their job to help build the newest rail mill at Evraz Steel. Now, though, hundreds of workers have been laid off, stuck in Pueblo while caught in the middle of a construction dispute. Good evening. I'm Barton Bedsoll. Heather Scold has the night off. Thanks for making us your choice for News at 10. The steel mill in Pueblo has been that city's pillar of economic development for years. But tonight, 13 Investigates has learned an ongoing legal battle has spelled doom for hundreds of workers there. Investigative reporter Sean Rice is live overlooking the Rocky Mountain Steel Mill to explain what's happened and what may happen next. Sean. Yeah, Bart, Wanzak Construction, the construction company hired to build the expansion here at the Pueblo Steel Mill, told its employees in a, in a meeting this morning that they've been relieved of their duties. The move means 660 employees are now, who had been living here are now out of a job, many leaving Pueblo altogether. A year and a half ago, state and local leaders were celebrating a new expansion at the Rocky Mountain Steel Mill, saying it could be a big boost for the Pueblo economy. Sure, this new project will create 800 jobs, good jobs, in the Pueblo community. But construction at the mill is now less than half complete here at the start of 2023, prompting a subsidiary of Evraz North America, the steel mill's owners, to sue Wanzac Construction. The federal lawsuit alleges that Wanzac is in violation of its contract, failing to meet construction deadlines, not hiring adequately qualified workers, and causing property damage that endangered other workers on site. The suit claims Evraz has suffered an estimated $130 million in damages due to project delays. Amid the litigation, Evraz North America tells 13 Investigates they've already started the process of hiring a new general contractor. In a statement, their senior vice president says, quote, The work is not going away, and no Evraz North America employees are being let go as a result of this change. We look forward to retaining many of the project's current subcontractors as we work to complete the project. 13 Investigates spoke with multiple people impacted by these layoffs. They said they're already on their way out of town because the sole reason they moved here was to work on the mill expansion. And that means unless they're hired back on by Evraz North America, the money they spent on rent, food, and other goods in Pueblo will be gone as well. Pueblo Mayor Nick Gratisard told me late tonight that changing construction companies this late in the process is quote unquote unfortunate. However, he told me he has the utmost faith in Evraz North America's ability to make this a short term disruption. Reporting live in Pueblo, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. Hopefully so. Sean, thank you.